RCHOP is a combination of five different drugs that work together to target and kill cancer cells. It's commonly used as the first-line treatment for aggressive non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, which is a group of blood cancers. Specifically, RCHOP is often used to treat the most common form of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma known as diffuse large B-cell lymphoma, DLBCL. The R in RCHOP stands for rituximab, which is not a chemotherapy drug, but rather a treatment made up of man-made antibodies that help your immune cells destroy cancerous tumors. This addition of rituximab replaced a previous therapy called CHOP, which was not very effective and caused a lot of toxicity in patients. In the R-CHOP mix, there are several other drugs. C. Cyclophosphamide, which is a cancer drug. H. Doxorubicin hydrochloride, also a cancer drug. O. Vincristine, older name, Oncovin, a chemotherapy drug that slows or stops cancer cells from growing. P. Prednisone, a steroid that helps boost how well the chemo drugs work. You'll receive your medications at a clinic and usually get an RCHOP dose every 21 days. Depending on your cancer and overall health, you may receive more frequent doses, once every 14 days. On average, people receive six cycles in a row, but you may have as many as eight or as few as three. The entire treatment typically lasts several months. If your cancer is in the earliest stages, one or two, you may start with radiation therapy and then go through three or four cycles of RCHOP. During each treatment cycle, you will receive four out of the five drugs on the first day. The only drug you won't receive on the first day is prednisone, the steroid. The medication will be administered through one of the following methods. For infusion, a needle will be inserted into a vein in your arm or hand, and connected to a tube that carries the drugs. Central line, similar to in 4, but it uses a larger tube or a number of tubes that connect to a port under your skin near your chest. This allows the medication to go directly into a large vein of your heart. PICC line, this stands for peripherally inserted central catheter. A long, thin tube called a catheter will be inserted into your arm and threaded up to a large vein near your heart. This tube will remain in place until you finish your treatment. Each infusion may take several hours. Your doctor may even divide your first dose over two days to slowly monitor how it affects you. You may receive rituximab as an 4 on a separate day from the other three drugs. You will take prednisone as a pill once a day for five days, starting the same day you receive the other infused drugs and for four days after that. When undergoing RCHOP chemotherapy for non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, it's important to be aware of the potential risks and side effects. Two of the drugs used in RCHOP, cyclophosphamide and doxorubicin, have been associated with heart problems, including heart failure. Some common side effects that you may experience when starting RCHOP therapy include fever, muscle aches, headache, and shivers from low white blood cell counts, feeling cold, weak, and out of breath from anemia, bruising or bleeding more easily, nausea and vomiting, hair loss, mouth sores, low appetite, dry, itchy skin, nerve pain or numbness, indigestion, trouble sleeping, chills or dizziness, liver problems, cough, runny nose, sore throat, hives, night sweats, weakness, joint pain, rash, mood swings, and potential heart or liver damage. Additionally, prednisone, a steroid used in RCHOP, can also cause its own side effects such as thinner skin, increased blood sugar, weight gain, and swelling from fluid buildup, especially in your face. If you experience severe side effects that don't improve or worsen over time, it's important to contact your doctor. If the RCHOP chemotherapy doesn't work well for your type of cancer, your doctor may consider other chemotherapy options. In some cases, if you respond well to the new treatment and are healthy enough, your doctor may also recommend a stem cell transplant. This procedure can help grow new, healthy cells to replace the damaged ones caused by the cancer.